Hi guys, in this video I want to quickly review the concept of email marketing. Um, I know a lot of people in this course are completely new beginners to the world of e-commerce, so I, I understand that you may not be familiar with email marketing, so I wanted to create this video for you. If you know what email marketing is, you can easily skip this lecture. Um, so what is email marketing? Email marketing is one of many different forms of marketing. Uh, for example, we have Facebook advertisements, which is one form of marketing. We have social media marketing, which is, for example, you may be using Instagram to bring brand awareness to your business. Um, there's SEO, which is search engine optimization. Uh, you know, there's certain strategies you can use to optimize how likely your website will show up on a search engine. So that's SEO. And then there's email marketing. There's other forms of marketing as well, but those are kind of the main ones. Um, so email marketing is kind of the fourth main way you can market. Um, and it's called email marketing because you're using emails to market your business. And generally, email marketing requires two main steps. The first step is to collect emails of visitors to your business or your website right we use a website because we have an online business that may seem obvious but I think some people don't understand that so to send an email you need an email address of a customer and to collect that email you have to do it somehow on your website so when you to collect emails generally uh, with the e-commerce business you will incentivize customers that visit your website uh, to submit their emails so Usually how it goes is someone visits your website and then you know they may receive a pop-up and that pop-up may, may say, please sign up for a newsletter for future promotions and sales. Please input your email. Or it may say, please input your email for an immediate 20% off uh, discount code. Something like that. Generally, there will be some form of incentivization so this customer will input their email. Obviously, customers don't naturally want to input their emails because they don't want to, they don't want to be bombarded by all of your promotional emails or spam and things like that. So you want to incentivize customers to submit their emails and that therefore you will have their email for future email marketing or even immediate email marketing. Uh, but ideally you want to grow a really, really, really large email list. The bigger your email list, the better. The more emails you've collected, the better. All right, so that's step one. Step two is send them a proactive or automated promotional email with the goal of incentivizing them via discounts, coupons, promotions to come back to your store to make a purchase, right? They may have been a previous customer or they may have simply been a previous visitor to your website. Either way, if you have their email, you want to be able to send them an email either proactively, meaning you manually do it, or have the Omnisend app automatically send them an email under certain conditions. And in that email, email is generally, at least in the world of e-commerce, there's generally some kind of, of incentivization for that customer to come back to your store and make another purchase or make a purchase for the first time. And usually the incentivization is some form of a discount code or a coupon code or some kind of promotion that is store-wide, um, you want to incentivize them. Because if you email them and say, hey, please come back and buy something, chances are, unless they really, really, really love your store, they're not going to come back for no reason, right? You want to incentivize them to come back, and generally you have to do that with some kind of uh, discount. A tip for you, unlike Facebook marketing, which requires ad spend to advertise, ad spend is money, so it doesn't cost anything to send a promotional email to your existing email list. This is why collecting emails are so important. So if you're familiar with Facebook marketing and if you're not, you can, you know, I have a section that's completely dedicated to Facebook marketing. Um, so Facebook marketing, to use Facebook advertisements, you have to pay money to run an ad. Every single ad you run on Facebook, you have to pay for. But for email marketing, you don't have to pay for. I mean, besides paying for the app, which is a very, very small amount of money, but once you have the app, the app does everything for you, right? All you have to do is collect emails, which the app also helps you do. Uh, but to send out an email advertisement or promotional email to all of your email, uh, all of the users on your email list, 
it does not cost you any money okay that is why email marketing is so great it's automated it's essentially free right besides the cost of the actual app but it, overall it's it's pretty much free in comparison to something like Facebook advertisements so that's why I love it that's why you should love it that's why you should set it up that's why it's a necessity for any e-commerce business I hope that made sense guys if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me but that is email marketing in a nutshell